nighttime actually, and I'm getting ready to put some primer on top of the um, Bondo job. I'm actually currently at Walmart, believe it or not. You might be wondering why I'm painting at night. And the reason is actually pretty simple. You see how there's exposed pieces of metal here where I sanded? If I don't cover this up, within a day, rust will form again. The uh, moisture, you know how uh, you have condensation in the middle of the night? Water collects, like dew, collects on grass and stuff? Well, it also collects on your car. And that's water, which is moisture, which will start the rusting process. So what I'm going to do is wipe everything down real quick. I'm not even going to mask things off. I'm just going to um, use this uh, rag, my old uh, USPS shirt, and just cover up sections and um, spray paint primer. I'm not even using automotive primer uh, because this whole job was done cheap on the cheap. I went and got this cheap Walmart primer for like $1.64 or $1.65 for one can. And the reason for getting this is um, it's cheap. They have automotive primer, but they tend to run like $6. So this is only like, you know, less than $2. And I'm going cheap with this because I don't really care too much. I'm just trying to protect it from rusting further. So let me go ahead and um, lay down the, um, the shirt and start painting. All right, I put my shirt here to help protect overspray. And I got the can. And I'm going to really, really, really shake this stuff up. We're not planning on doing like a really good job. We just want to do a decent job to protect the vehicle. So I got it shaken up now and I'm just going to spray lightly. All right. And that's pretty much it for this side. Now we're gonna bring, bring, slide the uh, cloth over and spray the other part. All right, as you can see, I've moved the cloth. Now I'm simply just going to um, spray along the edge here, just make it look a little neater. All right, and it's time to move the cloth a little bit further down. There we go. That already look better. I'm gonna move the cloth and then uh, finish up this side over here. All right, we just slip, slip the shirt down a little bit. I'm gonna spray up under here and make sure I get on the lip. See all the exposed metal we're trying to cover up. I'm gonna not spray over that way yet because I don't want the overspray to hit um, the lights that we just worked so hard on the other day to shine up. All right. Now it's a matter of sliding it over to protect our light here, and then we can continue. Spray this side. not the most perfect job here but I don't think it looks too bad especially considering how little money we're actually using now I'm gonna lift up the hood and spray up underneath as well that's a little bit of overspray here but it's not too bad and I don't really care main idea is to cover this up um, so that it doesn't rust 
we're trying to prevent the rust from forming. So I think we're going to be all right here. So I'm going to lift the hood now. Now I'm going to spray all this stuff here up underneath the hood. Just get all this coated. Protect it from this side. Notice I'm trying to make sure there's no other cars right near me here. Because I don't want to always spray hitting other people's cars. So I doubt this is going to affect anyone's car from this distance. So, I made sure I was in a spot all by myself here. So, we're just... Spraying underneath here to coat this area. And I think it's looking good. Let's look at that. Let's try to protect it from rust getting in there. I think it looks good. Now it's a matter of doing the back side and trying not to get paint everywhere. My biggest concern with doing this rear portion was getting paint all over my lights and stuff. So I've got it lifted up right now and I have my shirt going across um, the window the glass because I don't want to paint the glass obviously so I'm going to try to spray real quick here lightly and try to touch this paint on here and not spill any I might hold this here to not spill it underneath although I can see the wind's going to blow things around I'm not going to be able to film it because I got to hold this paper and try to keep everything in place while I spray but I'll show you the results all right here then is my completed work in the dark it's actually hard to tell if I got spray paint everywhere because it's dark Tomorrow will let us know if I got paint all over everything. But for now, I think this is okay. Um, looks like I missed a spot here. And I missed some of the Bondo there, but I definitely missed this little corner here. But I think for now it'll do. I have to touch this up in the daytime when I can get better light. Hopefully I didn't get spray everywhere, like on my glass here. Actually I did, I can see some overspray. I'm gonna wipe it down real quick before it all dries on there. Our semi-finished product. We've got the hood patched. It doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't look too bad. At least there's no more holes. And now all I need to do is just paint it. I'm not even going to bother trying to match it too much, but I did pick up some cheap blue, can of blue paint. You can see here the overspray. See the overspray there? So I'm going to wipe that down. Should really wet sand it and make it smooth. I mean, if you really want to do a good job, you can spend a lot of time on it. And money. Because you got to do multiple coats and you got to wet sand it and you got to go to finer and finer grit to make it nice and smooth. I did that before in my younger days on a junky car which is what little blue is. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again. So what I'll probably do, I'm not gonna paint it right away, but I bought some cheap paint, $1.64 a can, instead of the five or $6 automotive paint. I just bought some dark blue paint. I'm gonna um, wipe this down a little bit, maybe just run some water on it, and maybe I'll wet sand it lightly to smooth it out a little bit. Then I might, I might paint the whole hood blue and the back section just to get rid of the um, the primer because having the primer on my vehicle makes it really stand out and this is the kind of stuff that could draw the police to you if you're trying to be stealth you really don't want something like this sticking out like when it looks like it's half painted the police tend to you know spot it and other people do I mean, it makes your vehicle stand out basically you don't want your vehicle standing out from other vehicles
By the way, you can see the, the headlights are so shiny. You will get that from our um, toothpaste cleaning. So they still are bright. And, you know, I did coat it with a um, WD-40. Might need to rub it down and do another coating of WD-40 to give it extra protection. But it is lasting. Some people thought that as soon as, you know, everything dried, it would um, go back to foggy or that the WD-40 would um, pull in dirt and stuff. It didn't. So the lights are still clear, pretty clear at least. And hopefully, um, hopefully when I get this sanded down a little bit and painted, little blue won't look so ugly. I might even do this whole um, hood here and just try to make it look a little bit better because this hood looks terrible. You know, it, they have that stupid clear coat that ate through, so it looks really bad. I may, I'm, I'm gonna try the little bit of blue that I bought, the can of blue. Let me show you what it looks like. It's um, this really cheap blue paint. It's home shades, gloss finish, interior, exterior. But see the blue? I'm thinking it's uh, almost a match to little blue. It's a little bit lighter, just a tad bit lighter, but a lot better than this um, chipping stuff. So I may, I mean the real way to do this would be to take off the hood or to tape everything off and make it look really nice, you know. And if I was more motivated <laughs> and this vehicle didn't have 320,000 miles plus on it and all sorts of issues, I might do that. But um, I'm just trying to keep little blue running long enough to, you know, until I can get some money saved up to get another vehicle. So I don't want to sink too much time or money into it. But I may spray it with this blue just to see what it looks like and show you guys if you're curious as to what a spray can paint job looks like on this thing. Um, we might do the hood. Because the hood's the part with the worst um, chipping. And if it actually looks good, I might even paint the whole vehicle with the stuff. I figured I'd probably do it for about, what, 10 or 20 cans? And the vehicle would be this blue, you know, with the white roof from the um, cool seal. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. Until next time, everybody, I hope your day is going well. Thank you for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. It is the next morning. And we're going to do a really quick paint job to touch up the blue here. Um, we're not even going to do it the proper way. Normally you would wet sand all this down and make it really smooth. But you can see the whole hood is all ruined anyways. So I'm not even going to bother with that. I am just going to go ahead and use this cheapo blue spray paint that I got from Walmart for $1.67 or so. To coat the um, primer. To try to get to, to blend in a little bit better. It's not going to be a perfect paint job, but hopefully it's enough to make the vehicle not stand out so much. I'm going to begin the process by testing it, testing the paint here underneath the um, hood just to see what it looks like. And we can see it is um, showing up much lighter than the um, current blue, which is going to be kind of bad blue is much lighter than the original blue yeah that's gonna stand out like you wouldn't believe I'm wondering if there's a darker blue that I can get this blue is so light it would be just as bright as I'm um, using the um, the primer and leaving the primer there I'm not sure I want to go with this blue because they didn't do a very good job of showing the color. Look how light it is. That blue and that blue does not match. Well, maybe it does on the camera, but to my eyes, that blue is way too blue, too light. It's a light blue compared to the dark blue of the, um, the vehicle. So I don't really want to cover it with this blue. It's too light. I went back inside Walmart just now um, and decided to get this Rust-Oleum blue. It looks like it's a darker blue, but it still might be a little too light. But it's not as light as the other one. We're going to try to paint it now and, you know, underneath just to see what it looks like. And hopefully it'll be dark enough. 
Once again, I'm gonna try it underneath just to see what it looks like. And it is um, still too light, but you know what? Good enough. It's darker than the previous one, so I think it'll do. I'm gonna go with it. I don't have time to um, do an exact match. So we're gonna go with this and say, good enough. But sometimes, you know, good enough is good enough. You don't need it perfect. And in this case, good enough is good enough. So I'm gonna um, paint the top side now and then call it a day. All right, I've started to spray the top part here and it actually doesn't look too bad. You know, I might even do the whole hood. Although you can see the, the colored patterns here because I didn't sand it down. If I sand it down, it'll look a lot better. But um, I might just do the tip and then later on do the whole hood in this color. It's not an exact match, but I'd say it's about 80% there. So let me uh, move this over and, and try to do the side here and see if we can't make it look a little bit nicer. Alright, I started to paint this area, and it actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, when you look at it next to the original blue, it, it doesn't match, but it looks better than the previous paint. So I'm starting to contemplate that maybe I'll paint the whole hood. Even though, truthfully, you should sand all this down and make it smooth so you don't get this ugly um, banana peel effect. I mean, you know, the orange peel effect there because of the, the colors coming off. But I might just paint the whole thing. Because um, it looks bad to have part of it like this. And then the other part's not painted. So I may go ahead and do the whole car. Not the whole car, but the whole hood. Uh, I'm not even going to sand it down or anything. But just paint it to cover it so it looks um, at least one color. But you can see it actually looks, um, I think it looks better. I'm going to go ahead and paint the whole hood. Alright, this is becoming a really ghetto job. I am going to go ahead and try to paint it right now. I'm not even going to bother masking anything. I'm just sticking the um, rag underneath. And I'm going to spray the sides and just try to get the whole thing co coated so it's all one color. I'm not even going to sand this down. The proper way would be to sand all this down, but I don't want to spend a day or two on it. And um, I just need it to match so it doesn't stand out so much. So we're going to go ahead and quickly spray everything. Alright, here then is our ghetto paint job. <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, it stands out. It's not a perfect match, but I think it looks better than having the gray. And of course it's not shiny or anything because I didn't bother to smooth it and do the layers with the wet sanding and the smoothing. And But I'd say it's not bad for one can of paint. I mean, from far away, from a quick look, you know. Okay, it looks bad. <laughs> but it looks better. I think that's the key. It doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look good. I mean, I could probably paint the whole vehicle this color. And if I did, which I may over time here. It'd probably take me about another, what, six or eight cans of paint. That'd be about, let's say, $4 a can times six, 48. It'd be about a $50 paint job, $40, $50 paint job. I don't know. But I'd say it doesn't look too bad. It looks better. Yeah, it does look better. I'll leave it like that. I am going to do the back and then call it a day. As my son would say, this looks legit, doesn't it? <laughs>